Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Gloria MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I'm here to do a plan with me in my A5 wide insert for July 2024. I'm going to be using a kit from my shop. It is called Nicola Floral. It's one of the new A5 wide monthly kits that we have in the shop. I just released four new ones. So go ahead and check them out if you guys are interested. You guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. If you are new to my shop and haven't seen these monthly kits, they come with four pages. It has a Sunday start to match the inserts from my shop which are printables um, but they can also fit in the 9 by 11 Erin Condren or other planners like that size so you get the date covers and you have a selection of the bow icons from my shop if you guys are interested in these bow icons you can find them on quarter sheets in my shop as well and then we have some payday flags we have some bill dues lots of different styles of labels page flags and scallop corners and then at the bottom here we also have some skinny washi and then we have some more labels in all the different colors. So if you guys want to do some color coding in this spread, you definitely can. Um, the idea behind these labels is that you can grab the icons and then put them on the labels. Then at the bottom here, we have some scallop washi so you can mark off long periods of time. And then we have some decorative boxes, some larger functional boxes and some floral boxes as well as the date numbers. So that's the main kit. With the kit, you also get a decorative sidebar and this is the sidebar for the Nicola Floral Collection. I absolutely love this girl in her beautiful dress, so I can't wait to use it. And then I have also pulled the matching floral bouquets. So I really like to have those in my spread and that's available in white matte and transparent matte sticker paper. The last thing that I pulled for the spread is the large monthly scripts and I'm gonna be using the July script here. All right, so let's get started. This is actually how last month turned out for June. I do have a plan with me on my channel if you guys are interested in it, but this was using the Rachel floral collection. and I love the pinks and the yellows. I think that's really pretty. So this is what the inserts from my shop look like. These are once again printables and you can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off both the stickers and the printables from my shop. So I'm gonna get started by putting down the date covers first. So July is finally gonna be a little bit of a slower month for me. I don't have as many things planned, which is a good thing because June um, has been so, so crazy. The only thing that is um, kind of worrying me about this month is the fact that I'm gonna have some family from the US come over. So um, they're coming over um, towards the end of July and so I have a lot of things to get ready in, in preparation for their arrival. So I'm a little worried about that just because it's been a while since I've had people um, stay here for multiple days. So I do need to clean the house and figure out what exactly we're going to be doing on the days that they are here because obviously I like to plan things out. So if they want to go to downtown Toronto, I do like to plan things out so that um, we can do a lot of different things in the area. Um, I think they want to go to like the CN Tower, but I'm, I'm not sure if um, that will be possible because the last time I had family over, we went and um, the weather was it wasn't too bad but it wasn't like a super sunny day and because of that they told me that um, you know you can go up but you're not gonna see much so they didn't recommend us going that day so we are all disappointed because that was kind of like our main event for the day and so in the end, we went to some other places and also shopping, but we were a little disappointed that we weren't able to go up the tower. So I'm not sure if um, they wanna go to this time. And if we do go, I'm just worried that they'll say the same thing. So I have to figure that out. Um, I'll probably plan for it anyway. But if they do say that it, the weather is not great, I just want to have a plan B ready in case that ever happens again because that really ruined our day 
the first time it happened so I'm hoping that it's not going to repeat itself. So that's really the only thing that I have to plan for this month. Um, I do have a few hops and renewals um, this month but those are all smaller things that I can deal with on my own. Um, it is going to be my mom's birthday as well so I will probably go and visit her too. So I'm hoping to have a little bit of a chiller month this month because last month I did release a book and so it was pretty stressful for me. I had a lot of things going on. Um, I was also part of the Planner Boss Collective sale, the PBC sale, towards the end of June. And so I'm sure once July starts, it will kind of be like a breath of fresh air. I can finally breathe a little bit with the slower schedule. So it's definitely much needed and I think it will be nice um, to have a slower schedule this time around. So I have just added the date numbers here and we have 31 days so let me just add these last two. I've been really into the cool tones lately if you haven't noticed so this collection is right up my alley. I do have four boxes that are not included in this month so that's what you can use these decorative boxes for. So I'm just going to grab those and add them to those extra boxes here. I just love the florals and the watercolor background that this kit has. It's so pretty. So since we just had the Planner Boss Collective sale, I do want to thank everyone who purchased during the sale. I don't get to do these uh, sales that often just because sometimes it's hard to match my schedule with others because I have so much going on but you guys really seem to enjoy it. Um, definitely subscribe to my newsletter to get notified of whenever I do a sale in the shop because like I said I don't get to do it as often as I would like. Alright so let me get started by putting down the major events for this month. So this month I do have three sales for my books so I like to always put those in a large box. So I'm going to have one on the second and then um, I want to use this purple color. I have another one on the 16th here. And then I have another one on the 30th. So I have been getting a lot of questions about my books lately. So um, I'll just briefly talk about them here. I actually have 20 books out already. They are divided into three series. The Glory MC series, which is a completed series now. It has five books. I also have the Moonrise Beach series, which has nine books in it. And then I also have the Heartbreaker series. So if you guys are interested in them, um, they are all available on Amazon in ebook format and paperback. And you can find the reading order for my series on my author website, which I can leave a link for you down below. But I just wanted to say that because I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking about my books and where you can read them. So I just wanted to mention that in case I get more questions. So I've just added the large monthly script for July up there. And then what I'm going to do is also put in my boxes for any uh, collab hops that I'm going to be doing. So let me mark that in too. And I think I'll be using these cute floral boxes for that. So I always have one on the 1st and the 16th of every month. So we'll just overlap on this day here. And then this month I signed up for one on the 5th. Um, and this one's actually going to be like a Christmas in July theme one. So that is what that one is for. I'm going to grab some of these smaller labels because I do have quite a few renewals to do too. Um, so let's mix up the colors. I haven't used too much of this kind of periwinkle color. Let's put one on the 13th and also the 14th. And I am going to switch up the colors. I love the size because you have just so much room to work with. Um, I have another one on the 25th, so that's here. And then two more. 
So one on the 29th and also the 31st. It is also going to be my mom's birthday, so we have to mark that in here. I still have one of these floral boxes, so I think I'm just going to use that. And we'll pop that here too. So that's what the spread is looking like so far. So I've just zoomed in so that we can fill this out now. So like I said, I do have um, this event on the 1st. And then um, one of my book sales for my Moonrise Beach series happens on this day. So that means that you can get these three books for as low as 99 cents. I still have my Christmas in July event. Can't believe it's already July. And then we'll also mark in that it's my mom's birthday. So for these things, um, I have this little birthday hat that's on the boat icon. So I'm gonna add that there. And for this guy, I'm going to use this little to-do list for my sale. Let's see, on the 13th, it is my renewal. So I'm gonna get up early this day. I'm going to be using a little alarm clock for that. And I have another one actually on this day. Again, I'm gonna get the little alarm clock here. So the 16th seems to be the most busiest day. I have three more books in my Moonrise Beach series that will be on sale this week so I need to mark that but I also am taking part in another book event so I have that now marked in. This week seems a little bit more empty which is great. I just have a renewal to do and then um, on the 29th I have another one. So lots of renewals. It's that time of the month. Um, and then here I have actually my Glory MC series on sale. So the last two books in that series. And then lastly, I have another renewal to do. So there we have it. That's what that looks like so far. On Mondays, I do get paid. So I have the payday flags to use for that. That also comes in the kit. So I will put that at the very top here. i have always contemplating about whether I want to put my bills in here too, but I feel like it would fill up so quickly. So I haven't really been doing that. Now my favorite part, which is the deco. So I'm going to be using some of these floral bouquets and elements to fill in the blank spaces. What I like to do is kind of put them on the side so that it doesn't cover up too much. So if something does come up and I do need to write it in, I still can do that. And it's not covered up already. So all I'm gonna do now is just add these smaller elements here and there. And I think that would complete our spread for today. So here is my spread back in my planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you guys are interested in the Nicola Floral Collection, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!